Hello, this is Tom. Welcome to Napco Video Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be going over how you get your 1632, your Gemini 1632 applies to the 1664 and the 816 to do an auto arm. You can do an auto arm, however it is a little bit different than doing it from the Gemini 3296 or 255. So if you open up your control, your panel, okay, you want to go into schedule assignments and you have to create open and closing suppression windows. Now this you want to just create in the close section. Normally this is used for supervised opening and closings, but what it's going to do is it's going to follow a schedule and then there's one other location that you have to go into and you have to select to get it to auto arm. So if you have one area or two areas, you go into the first day that you want it to auto arm. You're going to go in there and let's say we want it to auto arm at 5 o'clock p.m. I want to do an end time and we could do that as like 05. Make sure you change this to p.m. too and then hit OK. And then you would do the same thing for the next one. And then OK. You have to make it a little bit different. So I forgot to do the 05. All right, so here you can do this all the way across if you want it to be armed at the same time, or you can do different schedules. So if you want Wednesday to be on a different day, let's say you want that to be on 6 p.m. because maybe they're working late. And then okay. So you just follow that for every day that you want to do. And then you hit apply. And then hit OK. And then one other place you have to go to is in your system assignments. And you have to go into system options. So system assignments, system options. Okay, and you're going to see this feature in the top left hand box under the arm disarm box. It says enable auto arm if not closed by the end of the window. You have to click on that, hit apply. And at that point, all you have to do is download the panel, and then it's going to start. And that's about it. Thank you for visiting NAPCO Video Tech Tips.